All right, everybody, welcome back. Um, I am uploading the first episode as we speak. We're going to record at least one or two more tonight just because I do actually want to play the game. I do apologize for the sound quality again. Um, it sounded super brassy, so I actually turned down the recording volume, and hopefully that'll make a decent difference and it won't sound quite as bad again. Tomorrow I'm going to buy a new mic, so this shouldn't last too long. It's going to be super interesting to see what changes we have from the network test. Man, that's still gorgeous. So my dude is still out there on his horse. I was actually thinking he was going to be gone. Alright, golden rays will guide you on your way. And the map. And this guy. Oh yes. Tarnished, are we? Come, of course Oops. you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. What if I don't want to? Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless, me. Vare, take care to listen. Are you familiar with grace? The golden light that gives life to you, tarnished. You may also behold its golden rays, pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of grace, a path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm. Indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. Grace's guidance to Castle Stormvale, over on the cliff, the home of the decrepit demigod, Godric the Drafted. Okay, so he was not the grafted. I should think. To Castle Stormvale on the cliff, where Grace would guide you. If you seek the Elden Ring, maidenless as you are. Alright, so. Uh, yeah. That's, so basically that's where we were headed in the original. Uh, so we did have basically just the opening area. Um, I keep saying the original, during the network test. Um, I have stayed away from spoilers, so I don't really know anything other than what I knew a little while ago. Um, you know, when I did the, the original test. So, fruits and flowers, mushrooms and butterflies. That's right, there's like hunting. Um, one thing that occurred to me too, actually this just popped into my head last night as I was thinking about this, is that, you know, I had kind of a plan from Far Cry about how to handle a big open world like this, except that I don't think this game is ever going to give me, like, missions. So it'll be interesting to see, I'm not going anywhere near Dude by the way, because he will absolutely wreck me this early on. Um, but it's going to be interesting just to kind of figure out God, what is that? How to do things like name episodes. You know what I mean? Because typically I name an episode after the mission we're on or whatever. 
So that is down by where the dragon is. We're going to hook back over this way. Mostly trying to avoid my guy over here. If I remember right, Santa Claus is in this building. Couple of golden runes. Spend runes and smithing stones to strengthen your armaments. Got my smithing stones. What's up, dude? You are tarnished. I can see it. And your Santa Claus. I can Claus. Also see that you're not after my throat. Then why not purchase a little something? I am Kale, purveyor of fine goods. All right, let's see what Kali's got. Telescope. I want a torch immediately. Um, cracked pot. Crafting kit. I don't need that immediately, necessarily. Actually, you know what? Let's get that right away. And then we'll come back in a bit for the notes, which I know have been useful. I am of a nomadic people, selling wares as I travel. The land has been tainted by madness since the shattering of the Elden Ring. It's only tarnished like yourself, who keep things from drying up entirely. Let's say you're a very welcome customer. Goodbye. Nice to do business. All right. Select item crafting, and you can do that from anything. You need cracked pots to craft certain items. Okay. Deer do to me? Nothing. <laughs> okay, so right away, that's more than I pulled off of dead people in the entire, like, uh, network test. So, I was wondering, it's one of the things that didn't happen much in that that part of the game, that version or whatever, there weren't a lot of drops. Um, cold tinged excrement, okay? Turtleneck meat. I don't know what this stuff is for, but I'm going to pick up as much of it as I can. No, thank you. Oops. Oh, fighting flying creatures is going to be super interesting. I get anything from you?
great dragonfly head. Okay. Another great dragonfly head. Really, how could I have too many great dragonfly heads? So this cave is the first, like, the Groveside Cave is the first one of these. Um, there's caves like this all over the place. They have bosses at the end. I don't know if I can handle the boss just yet. Interesting that they stuck one of those here. Um, let's see, equipment... Let's go ahead and stash my torch in there. I love that it's on equip load on the right side. I love that it specifies how heavy you are. Although, you know what? I don't want that on the arm with my weapon. I want that on the arm with my shield. wonder if torches have timers on them in this game. All right, Wolfies, I know you see me. And the last time I was in here, too, I had magic. reason I came in here is that this area I'm pretty sure is where I found my twin blade and my twin blade was absolutely my favorite thing. Granted not that it gave me a ton of different item options. Oh god I'm still here. Ah! Stone. I don't know what any of this stuff does. Another golden rune. Actually, I think if I go around this way, I can get back up to that. You have a message on your head, sir. A lump of flesh. God. Oh man, do I want to do this already? man.
Gavel, Egg, Gavel. Oh, he got me. That's all right. I can do that. I can do this. I can beat you, Beast Man of Faruma Azula. I beat you once. I can do it again. Drop any runes in your possession. Yep. I do love that it shows you up there where your stuff is. That's helpful. Alright, come on, Wolfies. No, wrong button. Alright, so he's gonna jump. That's not... It's not a move that's gonna happen just right... Ouch! Might take more than one try, or more than two tries. Exactly where he was last time. All right, we're gonna try the halberd. A little bit more reach seems like it might be useful. And it's more hurdy too. This puts me back into heavy load, but I think it's worth a try. So yeah, this is not... Oh, but that gets a little bit of a stun lock on you, doesn't it? Alright. Yeah, this is way better, at least against this guy. See ya, Beastman. 
All right, it's all about the right weapon. And the flame draped talisman, which I do not remember. No, not yet. I did it. So did I. Is that all there is in here? There's got to be a treasure chest or something. I'm going to go ahead and switch back to the sword. Oh man, where was my twin blade then? Hmm. Yeah, well, I'll find it eventually. Let's see. kill you again. So that's interesting that those are both, they kind of show the light pointing. And the other thing that I want to do real quick before is check and see if I can figure out what that uh, boosts fire damage negation. Sure. Do I have any other stuff? Memory of Grace. It's a faint light from the location. We'll hold on to those for a little bit. We definitely don't need them right now. Can I craft anything yet? So I can make some bone darts to throw. We spent a lot of time in this settlement up here. And what I'm going to do right now, actually, is I'm going to dodge the entire thing because there's another spot over here. And there's some place to do some exploration, too. Greetings, Sup. traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. I offer you an accord. Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? They serve the Two Fingers, offering guidance and aid to the Tarnished. But you 
I am afraid, are maidenless. I can play the role of maiden, turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd Tree. Then it's settled. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Use it to traverse great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. Shall I turn your runes to strength? Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment, share them with me. Your thoughts. All right. Your ambitions. So that's the hit points. You would follow. I'm gonna go with vigor. We can get two levels of vigor. This early in the game, we definitely want more healing. I could have sworn it just said L3. Oops. So this just turned into utter chaos over and over and over again. Here's the big question. Are these guards going to drop weapons? Oh, I think you saw me. Maybe not. Oh man, so the more often I can do that.
Ooh, a flail. Treasure chest ahead. Thanks. Can't use the flail yet. Uh, what do I need? 18 decks, which I do not have. I want to see it anyway. Oh, that's like a true... Like, ball on the end of a chain flail. Cool. I guess I can see why that would be a dex weapon. What's going on over here? Another side of grace. Okay. Not going to rest because I don't need anybody restored just yet. We're still kind of scoping out this area from the edges, so... Well, actually, we're at 31 minutes. We'll go until we die, or we clear this out. Which, you know, that could be 20 seconds from now. Especially since I'm charging into this nonsense. Vanquishing an enemy group will replenish your flasks. I really like that mechanic. Got a golden rune off of them, too. So if you're willing to be kind of, you know, ballsy about your attacks, um, you can get your flasks back. Or you can, you know, die ignominiously. Hey, buddy. I want your shield. Can I have your shield? I say I'm sure they've rearranged the enemies somewhat, but Nobody here. Target is going to be this guy. Oh, and he's got a buddy over there. Nice, got them both. And he actually dropped something. Oh, cool. Okay, so he dropped his armor. Now, there should be a dog around here someplace, too.
Okay, this is where I'm going to get into trouble. No thanks, guys. I can still hear him chasing me. Okay, we're gonna risk this run. Kill this guy. What I'm trying to avoid is the one on the right with the big spear and the shield, because he's he's a problem. And this is the guy with the horn. Excellent. Found a map. Now there was also at least one more dog, but if I remember right, there's a little underground spot. Nope, 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 nope. No, I'm not fighting you, sir. Absolutely refuse to fight you without sneaking up on you first. We're not doing it. Then beast bones. That's where I want to go, but I want to grab this first. Ooh, a war pick. Okay, so they drop weapons. They drop weapons and they drop armor. Don't know if this game has mimics. Adding skills. The Whetstone Knife, you can use Ashes of War to grant your armaments new skills at Sign of Sights of Grace. An armament can only have one skill. Okay, we knew about that. Adding affinities. What? That had better have saved. going to take that. See, everybody thinks there's hidden paths all over the place. There's no hidden path. We're actually going to take that as a good excuse to call this an episode. Um, so we're going to stop right here where we're safe, and we will pick up from here later on. Hope you're having fun. Leave a like and a subscribe if you are. We will be back soon with more from Elden Ring.